I mean, one thing I'd think of is obviously if someone was considering coming to you from a more uh, rigid cruise experience and they suddenly get delivered all this choice, all this opportunity, making the cruise what they want with the freestyle, uh, what, what tips would you give in order to help them make that transition from either landside holiday or from a more typical staid cruise experience to the very free, very open Norwegian cruise experience? Yeah, I think, I think the thing is to, is to talk to, to either the travel agent or look at our website um, and you know, obviously talk to, uh, talk to the team here um, about what, what do you do on the first couple of nights on board the ship? Because in my experience, that's when people get on board. There is such a, um, such a wide range of things to do, mm. so many places to go, so many different entertainment options to try and experience. Then you're, then you're confronted with up to 29 different dining options. So you're going, cool, crikey, what, where do I go? What do I start? Um, so a lot of people head for the main dining room um, on the first couple of nights. A lot of people should spend some time, I mean, you can pre-book okay. um, the speciality restaurants. So, Do you um, need to pre-book the main dining room? So when they get on board the first the, day, they, they don't have to pre-book They don't that. have to pre-book the main dining room, all, all that we ask. And, and you don't actually have to pre-book the speciality restaurants. It just And we have a traffic light system all around the ship. I think there are probably around about 50 or 60 different screens around the ship in the bars and public areas and it shows you all the restaurants again like a traffic light green means there's plenty of space you don't need to book ah, okay. amber means you know it's filling up and red means actually the restaurant is full so at this time you could be sitting on, on deck 12 <coughs> uh, enjoying a bar looking out on the views and then you your restaurant that you want to go to maybe is on, on deck seven or something and, and you can check and see before you decide to move down there if it's busy or not if yeah. it's making you, if it's worth you... Or you, know. you can see a restaurant and say, you know, hey, tonight, why don't we go and try the Cagney's? Yeah, that looks... That, Cagney's yeah. looks open and we don't need to do it. And there right. are people that do that and that, and that to them is freestyle. It's about having the freedom and the flexibility to do what they want. Okay. Other people like to know, okay, well, I want to see a show yeah. and so we know what time the show starts and they either want to eat pre or post that and if they wanted a speciality restaurant then they say okay well actually you know we're going to take the kids and we're going to go and have uh, you know try the Italian so they will pre-book that they can pre-book that while they're uh, before they go okay. so you can do that online um, or you can do that through um, through the team here um, and uh, or you can do that when you're on board the ship so a lot of people tend to book maybe you know a speciality restaurant for a uh, um, a wedding anniversary or, yeah. or something like that okay. um, and a lot of people maybe book it on the first night so they know that they've got somewhere they're going to go it gives them time to explore the ship so, so my advice to anybody coming on board the ship would probably be on the first night and maybe the second night is to pre-book uh, a speciality restaurant okay. um, or go on board and uh, make sure that they, they, um, they get time for the main dining so just to avoid the queues. Absolutely. So what I'm getting a sense from here is the freestyle dining, it's not just like a, you know, just a free-for-all. It's really you make it what you want. Um, you know, you, you, can, you can make it more structured and you can make all your bookings beforehand and then and work to a, a timetable within it. Or you can go loose and easy and just go with the flow. Yeah, which is yeah I, mean, I, I, I mean, I always talk about my example as my family. So, you know, myself and the, and the wife and the, and the two children, there are some days where we know we're doing some shore excursions, we know we're going to come back, we want an early dinner because we wanted to see a show. Mm. So we would book that day. And then there are other days where actually, you know, we're just going to go freestyle. Yeah. So, you know, we'll sit there, we'll have a drink, um, you know, we'll, we'll have a nice uh, cocktail before, before, um, before dinner or whatever, and then we decide where we're going to go. And sometimes we use the, you know, the panels on the ship to show us where the restaurants are and say, what takes our fancy tonight? Do we, okay. you know, do we fancy French? Do we fancy Italian? What about some Asian foods? Do you want sushi? Uh, do you fancy the tapenaki? So we just, we just go like, and the kids love that too, because they're sort of, exciting. they're teenagers. So. Absolutely, it's very exciting. Okay, um, tell me about the Haven, because that's another part of this, of, of the kind of, yeah. within the kind of freestyle experience, isn't it? Yeah, so on, on, on all of our ships, um, on, the big, on the big new ships that we have, we have an area of the ship called the Haven by Norwegian. Okay. And really the Haven is an area that is, is really, um, it's a ship inside a ship concept. So it's an area that is basically, it's our suites um, and it's private access. You have your own um, concierge, private butler. It has its own dining room. It has okay. its own bar area, own sun deck. It has his own little spa area and things like that. Okay. So it really is an area for, you know, for your sweet customers that they can actually go experience the, the quality of that type of product 
uh, in an area where they are obviously in a different part of the ship. It's exclusive to them. It's exclusive to them. It's private key access. It gives them access to everywhere else in the ship as well if and they want that, to. That's okay. so unique because mm. what we do have, the, the type of accommodation is, is actually six star plus. But it gives them the ability to say, hey, you know, I'm going to go down and watch one of the big shows. I'm going to go and watch Rock of Ages. I'm going to go and watch Legally Blonde or the Blue Man Group. You know, or take something in where you would never get that on a more smaller, intimate ship. You just don't have the ability to do that. Or you can go into one of the speciality restaurants, or you can go to the jazz club, or you can go to Howl of the Moon and watch the dueling pianos, you know, or the Grammys experience, or you can go to the ice bar. I mean, the list is endless that you can do. And then when you've had enough, you can go back to the privacy of the haven. So it is a very unique area of the ship. We see a lot of growth coming through um, high-end customers that have typically maybe been on, on, on the five-star products in the past, but have not had that flexibility of doing the, uh, the activities, particularly with children. Mm. You know, those type of ships aren't really geared towards children's clubs and things that we have. Mm. Aqua slides, you know, we have five slides on our big new ships. It's like, a, it's like a mini water park. And having done one where you sit, you stand in there, you cross your arms, you, you say a few prayers, and they count you down three, two, one, and it's a free fall drop. I mean, it's just so much fun for the kids that actually multi-generation families are now booking uh, into these sweet areas on board the ship. So it's just, there's lots of things for everybody on board Norwegian Cruise Line.